Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video on the channel. Today we are looking at Sketch Update version 60. It has been released finally. I have been testing it and testing the beta for the last couple of weeks and I'm so happy to finally reveal you the latest news, features and like the total update in general. Sketch 60 comes with a brand new components panel. It's basically a new way on how we can work with symbols, on how they are shown inside Sketch and how we can like manage them. It's a really good and easy way to now work with them, get a good overview to organize them and manage them. And uh, I will just show this to you in this video. Okay, so we're inside Sketch and we have a little file here that I prepared. It's like a simple app that uh, is uh, just an example for us Today. And we already see that we have a couple of symbols in here. So for example, we have an icon that is a symbol or we have a uh, user avatar that is also a symbol. And what you maybe already noticed is that we not only have our layers here now, but we have another tab. And this tab is called components. And that's the new feature. And you already see that there are so many, there are so many things in here. And these are all the symbols that we have uh, inside our design file. It's organized in different folders and we can simply just um, organize them or close them all. Um, and we have a few more tabs in here inside our components too, which is like the symbols tab. Then we have a textile tab and then we have a layer style tab. And we currently don't have any layer styles, um, uh, but that's no problem. It just works the same like um, textiles. But I think the most important aspect of this update is of course how we can now manage uh, and organize symbols. And uh, for example, if you now just select two of these symbols, you can now um, just hit uh, like right click and group them which is super cool. So if I just do that, we now get a new group and I can simply call this maybe avatars or something like that. And you see that you have a bunch of new folders and a whole new structure on how you can manage your symbols. You can also, of course, drag them into different folders and so on. And of course, from this list right here, you can also drag them into your file. You don't have to go into your uh, symbols page. It, I mean, it's still existing, but you don't have to go here uh, and uh, just copy them from here or insert them from this panel right here. You can just go onto your components panel now, uh, get the correct symbol that you want to use and then just drag it over onto your file. So it's easy as that and it's super fast. You can double click your symbols and rename them in here. Uh, and you can also go right click edit and you just focus the currently selected symbol. So for example, I can also show it uh, with another one. Go right click and then you can of course duplicate them, manage them, uh, but also edit them. So it's just focusing this, this um, special symbol that you just selected. When you go onto your components and you hit this little settings icon, you now see that you can add remote libraries. So for example, if I select uh, the Apple iOS UI design library, it's downloading it live right away. Um, then you have to like expand it, uh, get it into your libraries. I already have it there. I'm just replacing it for this video real quick. And then uh, we need to go back. Ah yeah, it took a short second and you see that in here, we now have our Apple library, Apple iOS UI. It's super easy and fast. Uh, this way we can now, of course, if I go back to my designs, um, we can now also uh, drag in some other things. For example, I want to have a status bar and uh, of course this probably has status bars. That's why I'm searching for one on the iPhone and I want to have an iPhone uh, X or iPhone 10 one that is black. So for example, my time is here and then I want to have, uh, or you can probably also get, get the full one. Oops, the full one from this. Yeah, so we, we can get rid of that and place this in the correct position like that and boom, 
there we have our status bar from a whole nother uh, library. And this is our document, of course, but you can also show all of uh, all at once. So it's a really cool way to organize and manage your symbols. But that's just about managing them. Now, if we go here and select this symbol, you know uh, that we also had a different um, like icon for our avatars, which was this um, like uh, placeholder icon, you know. And what we will do now here, this one actually, is we, as I said, select our uh, symbol in here and this part on the right side also change. So now we can um, hit here, click this, and then we can of course replace it with a different one. And of course, I know you we could already did this before, but the cool fact is that they redesigned this whole menu. You can now search for a special symbol um, and it's uh, also possible to go into another library. You can also see these folders in here and it's way better than before, way easier to be honest. You can also detach it and also as I already uh, showed you, edit it. So you have a lot of cool new possibilities and things you can do in here. Now if we go to layer styles, you see that I don't have these fonts, um, but this font for example is something that I have and of course if we select one of these fonts um, in here in our document, um, we can of course also change the layer style that we have from this little menu and maybe I'm looking for something, I'm looking for the H1 because this is one of my headlines Then I can also change this but I don't have the font uh, installed. That's why it's giving me a small error. But you get it, you get what I mean. Um, yeah, you can also edit them and it's basically giving you so many new features or basically rearranging and um, improving the features that were there already. Um, and the coolest thing, one of the coolest things that I didn't show you yet is in my opinion the preview that we have down here it's especially cool if you have a symbol selected you get a little preview with also the the size of the symbol just down here on the left side and you can check your um, uh, uh, sizes and uh, get a little preview because of course the little uh, like preview image right next to the symbol name is so small you you won't be able to properly see what the differences are between those three things but in here you can actually get a little impression of the differences and uh i think that's a cool way a very cool way to just i don't know improve our design workflow. It's definitely improving my workflow and making it faster and more organized. Um, I love it because I love to work with symbols and I hope you enjoy this too. So if you enjoyed this little video, you can hit the thumb up, you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't and you can also share it if you want. So thanks for watching and we see us in the next one. Bye.